Hey everybody, I am Eddie the Adventurer and this is Vanity. This is the highest and most isolated region in Georgia and it is home to an ethnic group called the Svans. And these right here are the Svan Towers. Now these are everywhere here in Svaneti. Back then, having the extended tower above your roof symbolized strength, high class, and unity. Inside the towers, the very top floor was where the men were stationed at. Their job was to look for intruders and fire whenever it was necessary. While the bottom three floors, including the house, was for shelter, the kitchen, storage room, etc. went up to the balcony and when I look at the other towers they do not have a balcony so this is definitely something that they've just put in recently and that is uh, where the first floor is so let's go Let me see what that is. This is either a garbage bin, fireplace, or the toilet. No idea. I'm leaning more towards the fire because this looks like a place where they can keep their pots and pans and dishes and whatnot. Oh yeah, and then those strings up there, possibly, for hanging fruits and meat to do a preserve for the winter. All right, this is the second floor. Huge little opening here to see and uh, for ventilation. Can't really look down, but you can see the weather. And these are for holding the tower together, possibly for storage as well. This is the third floor and there are tiny holes for ventilation here and here and also the bigger one but not so big here and this will be the, the final floor all right last floor got some beer waiting for me too let's see there are one two three four five six so there are eight openings two on each side and the holes are small enough for them to be able to see uh, what's going on, who is coming. Let's see if I can... Wow. Yeah, that is... Uh... Yeah, I can see the mother down there. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Why didn't I bring my camera? This gives them an advantage to be able to detect their enemy and shoot at them without um, being retaliated. And this is the little stair that takes you up to the roof to uh, create those uh, fire signals to communicate. Maybe take a whiz as well, who knows? Oh, what? The towers are also used as a way of communication with one another. They would climb up on top of the roof and they would start, they would start a fire and depending on which clans you're from or which family, the flames would be in different colors and each color would send a completely different message. Let's say for example, one of these guys, they set up a blue flame telling everybody to come for a wedding or there's a big feast in the evening or something like that. But a blue flame somewhere else could mean that invaders are coming and they need backup, all sorts of things. Here I am. Here I am. I'm not really sure how they can make a fire up here. I mean, 
the roofs are slanted. I guess they can put something below the fire, have it evened out in the middle, but that puts the whole roof at risk of being burned down. So, you know, the thing about the Swan language is that there is no writing system, uh, even to today. So everything, all the history, all the stories are passed down orally from their grandparents to the parents, to them and to the kids. So, so that's why the story about communicating and sending signals to each other through uh, different colors of fire might not be true, but it could be true. I mean, there's no harm in believing, right? It's, just, it's a pretty cool story. Cool story, bro. The Swans people here in Georgia has a big reputation for being very smart, very observant, and they have remarkable endurance and strength. And you can definitely see it when you take a look at these towers. The towers are built entirely by hand. They would go up into the mountains that surrounds their village, bring the rocks back, build it from the bottoms up. Also to mention, the winter here lasts for over six months. They had no connection and no support from the rest of Georgia. There were no roads and the only way of transportation is by horse, which takes days and weeks. If you're interested in seeing more videos about Svaniti and my experiences here, please subscribe and stay tuned. I will be posting up vlogs very soon. Thank you all for watching.